When multiplying two fractions together, it is possible just to take the numerators and multiply those together to get your numerator. In this case, 9 times 5 is 45, and then multiply your denominators together to get your denominator, and 10 times 12 is 120, and then you can take that resulting fraction and reduce to lowest terms. However, you will oftentimes end up with a fraction that is very difficult for many people to reduce. So what we are going to do is we are going to reduce the problem itself so the answer we get is already in lowest terms. To achieve this, we are going to use cancellation. To use cancellation, you must first identify one numerator in your problem and one denominator that share a common factor. For example, 9 is a numerator and 12 is a denominator and they each share the common factor of 3. What you do is you cross out each one of those numbers and then you change it to however many times the common factor fits inside each number. For example, 3 can be divided into 9 3 times and 3 can be divided into 12 4 times. You can kind of visualize 9 over 12 as if it were its own fraction and reduce 9 twelfths to lowest terms which is 3 fourths. Now we can do the same thing with 5 tenths. We can visualize 5 over 10 as being the fraction 1 half. And the reason we would reduce 5 over 10 to 1 half is because they both share the common factor of 5. 5 can be divided into itself once and 5 can be divided into 10 twice. The last thing we do is we multiply our remaining numerators together to get our numerator and 3 times 1 is 3 and then multiply our remaining denominators and the product of 2 and 4 is 8. So we would say that 9 tenths multiplied by 5 twelfths is equal to 3 eighths. Let's try another example. This time we are multiplying 5 twelfths by 8 fifteenths. Remember, when using cancellation, you are only allowed to use one numerator with one denominator at a time. Sometimes people try to cancel with two denominators. For example, with 12 and 15, they would see that 3 goes into both of these numbers, but you cannot cancel out a 3 out of two denominators. It has to be one numerator and one denominator. So 5 and 15 share a common factor of 5, so we can reduce the fraction 5 over 15 to 1 third because 5 goes into 5 once and 5 fits into 15 exactly 3 times. And we can also reduce the fraction 8 twelfths. 4 is the common factor of 8 and 12 and 4 can go into 8 twice and 4 can be divided into 12 3 times. Last we multiply our remaining numerators and that would give us 2 and the two denominators at the bottom of 3 would give us a product of 9. So 5 twelfths multiplied by 8 fifteenths is equal to 2 ninths.